Hello you Geminis. Hello and welcome to your monthly horoscopes for August 2013. I'm laughing because I, um, I'm going to use the Mercury uh, ruler of Gemini to present to you as quickly as I can all what is happening during the month of August uh, in the skies. It seems to be that there is a lot happening and it seems to be that it continues and it doesn't stop anymore. We had grand triumphs, we had stars of David and now we're having a full square. A full square in during the month of August and I'm going to tell you all about it. And for your you Geminis, it's, it's exciting when it considers your second house and eighth house. And that second house is it's, it's so wonderful for Geminis to see that a lot of Geminis are finding their self-worth. Or if, they, if it has been lost, they're recuperating it again. So that is always a nice thing because it goes so quickly losing your self-confidence. And gaining it back takes such a long time. So, um, but this reflects that it is a time for you to gain that self-worth. And yes, for some people it will be money, which is nice as well, which is nice as well to have a bit more money. But first of all, what is happening? What is this, this full square um, all about? A full square is like this and this has two oppositions. So a full square always means a lot of tension and a lot of of, of a change that is really going on on the inside and waiting to come out and um, the, the planets that are involved here is Jupiter and Pluto and Uranus and Venus that's a lot isn't it four planets but the main opposition is Jupiter and Pluto this doesn't happen a lot and um, what is this opposition about well Jupiter is about um, is a planet about truth. It's a planet about uh, opinions. It's a planet about spreading the word, and it's a planet about um, convincing other people. It's it's actually a teacher, as well. When it touches Pluto, it means uh, it becomes a strong teacher and a spiritual teacher and one that can convince and inspire other people. But this is all in opposition. So if it would have been a trine, it would have been easy. With an opposition, it means that there is a message here to be careful. And what is the message? The message is be modest. So modesty is really, um, and having, you know, warned towards other people is really the message of the month of August. Notwithstanding the fact, there's also a message of standing up for your own value system, especially for you Geminis, with that Jupiter there in your second house, your second house of values. It's a standing up for your own talent, standing up for what you are good at, standing up for, for your resources, standing up for what you're all about. And But the, the, the advice or the little advice is, just do it in a modest way and you will be very successful. So this is this, this square and um, Uranus only makes it even more wanting to liberate oneself from this and wanting to express that even more. And um, also with Venus there, Venus, Venus really it is about your uh, Venus really is not only about love it's also about value system as well so this is really emphasized um, for you actually with having Jupiter in your second house for up until next year around July around the middle of the year it shows that for a lot of Gemini's there is this opportunity to to uh, uh, to gain more or to gain back self-confidence and uh, you know being able to rely on yourself and that's always a good thing um, even for Gemini's who have the tendency to be very light and to, to be very um, how would I say to be a bit everywhere all, all over the place um, it's something that will ground you in a way because it's in a water sign it's in cancer so you will be nurtured by that you know but this is a process that goes up until uh, next year so it's just the beginning and the start now but there will be some especially around the middle of the month some things that come up so maybe if you have been 
struggling for money and maybe if you have been working hard to get a bit more money um, maybe there is something there that that comes to you or not comes to you but because you've worked for it because it's a second house so it's your own uh, resources and um, so uh, uh, that other house the eighth house that opposition is there is, is, is the house of other people's values so for you this opposition could be also the case when it considers values of other people so to to um, repeat just uh, to make this more shortly it is about it could be about money but it could also be and I think in a more uh, general way it could be about values your value system towards other people's and not just other people people who are close to you people in in your um, personal relationships and so it could be a confrontation there because Jupiter in an opposition with Pluto it's an opposition is always confrontation always a lesson that gets learned through the confrontation so if you're feeling that you know the values of the person that is really close to you is very much different it has to be that way in order to form your own uh, values and to make them not rigid anymore and I don't think that Gemini's normally have a problem with that with their opinions and being rigid because it's a flexible sign and secondly it's a sign that is very really open to other people's opinion um, or you, you you should have uh, other a lot of fixed planets in, in your in your chart or a, a heavy Saturn or something but I think for you Gemini's it's an opportunity to really test that and really test that towards the people who are close to you they have their opinions okay but you also have yours and you stand up for your own opinions your own value system but you can't just override that other people's values as well you know here is where that modesty comes in so there's a very nice uh, very nice month for you and uh, another thing it's about stones I, I just wanted to add something funny or something more light into these horoscopes and um, if you are a woman even if you are a man you can buy this for your uh, uh, or you can buy a stone for your girlfriend or your or your wife but if you think that uh, you're missing something considering uh, warmth and creativity and inspiration to 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 gain that second house self-worth maybe you you need to to buy a stone like that um, and I don't know the name in English it is a stone where these little insects are um, uh, are in and it's called Bagenstein in my language but you know or even you can just wear this this kind of color it doesn't have to be the stone so uh, you don't have to uh, do expensive stupid things uh, this is not really expensive but I just want to add this to the horoscopes that warmth is also very important and I, I wish this would have been a square but this is a triangle anyway it really has to do with this warmth that we all need and we need a bit of tolerance in this uh, world and we need a bit of warmth and modesty and that's the message for you Gemini's so thank you for watching you Gemini's please do now subscribe for the classes if you are interested to follow lessons it's now the moment so I'm almost uh, having my maximum because I don't want to have more people than 10 people so uh, uh, if you're interested check the link below subscribe and if you want a reading um, you can find the link below as well I wish you all the best, you Geminis. Have a fantastic month with a lot of talking and communication. Oh, by the way, your ruler at the end of the month, around the 26th, if you feel a bit lost, it's normal. Just it's, It'll pause. It's just a day or two because your ruler opposes Neptune. So maybe you're going to feel a bit lost at home because this is happening in your fourth house. Anyways, this wasn't that important. But have a good time and see you next month. Bye-bye.